Notification bars are very effective when it comes to notifying your website visitors about any special offers, news, messages, or any other announcements. In this modern era, it is crucial to engage your website visitors and maintain good relations with them. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to an outstanding plugin called Hashbar and show you how to use the plugin to create beautiful notification bars for your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, navigate to the plugins menu and click add new. Then search for the plugin name over here. When the plugin appears in the search results, click install now. Once the installation is complete, make sure to activate the plugin. Now, if you take a look at your WordPress dashboard, you will see a new menu named Hashbar has been added to the left side. That means we have successfully installed and activated the plugin. Now, let me show you how to add a new notification bar using this plugin. To do so, click on the Add New Notification button. After clicking the button, you will be directed to another page where you can insert all the necessary information for a notification bar. Let's begin by adding a title or a name for the bar. To display the notification bar, you need to add a separate block over here. If you browse the available blocks, you'll find some special blocks offered by Hashbar. Here I'm adding the Hashbar notification block to the editor. Let's insert a custom text for our notification bar. You can format the block elements from this area. On the right side, you'll find a bunch of settings to manage the button text, link and other elements. Once you are done making the necessary changes according to your needs, publish the notification bar. If you check your website afterward, you'll notice that a notification bar has appeared at the top. Now that we have successfully added a notification bar to the website, let me walk you through several other fantastic options of the Hashbar plugin that will give you a complete control over the notification bar you create. Starting off with the General Options tab where you'll have options to configure some general settings. For example, you can control where you want to show the bar, prevent any page or post from displaying the notification. The plugin also lets you manage the positioning, header type, notification area with content width and so on. If you want to load the notification bar in a minimized form, it's also possible using this option. You can even control whether or not to show the open and close buttons and customize the corresponding button texts. Let me show you how the positioning option works. If you select the bottom position and then update the bar, it will be displayed at the bottom of the page. In case you want the notification bar to be displayed on the left side of the screen, you can choose the left wall position and set a width for the notification area. If you check the website, you'll see the notification attached to the left side of your browser window. It works in the same way for the right wall position. Let's put the bar back at the top. Moving on to the next tab named Visibility Options. Here you can control the visibility of the notification bar on a mobile device and desktop. Another useful feature is that you can show or hide the notification bar based on how much a website visitor scrolls from the top of a page. Once you enable the option, two more fields will appear where you can set the scroll position to show and scroll position to hide. In the next option, you can insert the number of times a notification bar will appear. Sometimes it's necessary to schedule an expiration date or time for a notification bar, so it gets disabled after that certain date or time, right? To achieve this, all you need to do is enable this option and set an expiry date or time from here. Next up is the Design tab. Let's see what options we have here. As you can see, this tab provides you with the flexibility to customize necessary styles for different areas of a notification bar. 
For instance, in the content area section, the plugin allows you to personalize different elements for the content area. If you scroll down a bit, you will find several other customization options to manage the appearance of some buttons. For example, close button, open button and call to action button. Now, let's update the notification bar and take a look at our website to see all the changes we have just made. We can see that it is working perfectly fine. Then comes the countdown tab. There you'll have an option to add a countdown timer to your notification bar. If you enable the option, some other fields will appear where you can configure the countdown timer. Let me show how it works. Primarily, I'm selecting a countdown date and a style for the timer. If we check out the website, we'll notice a countdown timer has been added to our notification bar. Here you can control the placement of the countdown timer. For instance, if you choose right, it will be displayed at the right side. Alternatively, there is a handy option named Use Short Code that you can utilize to display the countdown anywhere you want. To do so, copy the short code right here first, then go to the editor and search for the short code block. After you add the block, simply paste the copied short code over here and you're good to go. Below, you'll find a checkbox option that enables you to add custom labels for various elements of the countdown timer. You can even hide specific timer elements based on your needs, for example, days, hours, minutes, etc. If you don't want to show the timer labels, simply keep this option enabled. Moreover, the style section provides even more customization options, allowing you to manage the necessary styles for the timer item, number, and label. After making all the necessary changes, don't forget to save them, so you can see how easy it is to create a notification bar using the Hashbar plugin. Now, I'm gonna show you how you can leverage this plugin to create a promo banner. To do so, click on the Add New Notification button and add a title for the promo banner. This time, we are gonna add the Hashbar promo banner block to the editor. Afterward, you'll notice that a simple promo banner showing up on the editor. Now, if you head over to the block settings, you'll see many customization options organized into different panels. The button settings panel lets you add a custom text and a link for the button. Then comes the banner style panel that enables you to customize a few essential style attributes for the banner. And here you can customize the colors for different banner elements. Now, let's configure some necessary settings for our promo banner that would determine how and where the banner is gonna appear on the website. In the general settings tab, let's say we wanna display the banner on the home page only and its position will be at the top left side. As I've shown you earlier in this video that this tab allows managing the visibility of the element we are adding. For example, you have the flexibility to show or hide the promo banner on mobile and desktop devices. Moreover, you can enable or disable the option to show the promo banner depending on the scroll position. Alright, let's publish the promo banner. If we visit our website, we'll see that the banner is displaying exactly in the way we configured it. So this is how you can use the plugin to design a promo banner with custom texts. Now what if we want to use just an image for the promo banner? Well, let me show you how to do that. First off, I'm going to remove this block from here and add another block named Hashbar Promo Banner Image. As you can see, a beautiful banner image has been added by default. Click this button if you want to add your own personalized banner image. Let's just update the changes and see how it works. I hope now you can easily create a notification bar and a promo banner for your WordPress website using the Hashbar plugin. You can even leverage this plugin when you need to create a notification bar for WooCommerce. 
to do so, we'll start with adding a columns block over here and select this layout. Now we are gonna populate the columns by placing different type of blocks. For example, let's add a paragraph block to the first column and insert a custom text. As for the second column, we are gonna add the hash bar countdown block. If you take a look at the right side, you'll find a settings panel where you can control some necessary settings of the countdown. For instance, you can select a particular countdown style and set a specific date after which the countdown timer will stop. You can even hide various timer elements as well as add custom labels for every timer element. Next up is the style panel where you can take control over the appearance of the countdown. Now, let's set an area where we want to display the notification bar. If you want to showcase the bar on a few product pages only, you can then choose the specific products over here. In the design tab, you can manage the design for different areas of the notification bar, such as content area, close button, open button, call to action button, etc. Once you're done making all the required changes, update the notification bar. Now let's navigate to the shop page to see how the notification bar works on the detail pages of products that we have chosen to display the bar. As you can see, the notification bar is working just fine. So that's how you can create a notification bar for WooCommerce. That's not all though, there are some other options available under the settings menu that you can utilize to control different aspects of the notification bar globally. Let me introduce you to a few options. If you keep the first option enabled, it will prevent the notification bar from appearing on a page once it is closed. Also, you can keep the notification bar closed across all pages of your website by simply enabling this option. The plugin even gives you the ability to see an analytical report where you can track the data on how your customers are interacting with your notification bars. Furthermore, you can utilize this option to enable the counting of views and clicks from the same IP address only once. Here you can select from whom you want to view the analytics. The next option will let you set a breakpoint for the mobile device. You can also limit the number of posts, pages, and products you want to show under their respective drop-down options. So that's all about creating a notification bar and a promo banner using the Hashbar plugin. So that's all for this video. I hope you've understood everything I've shown in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you.